Let's go. Hands-on environment education is flowing into South Island schools, thanks to programs being offered by the Peninsula Streams Society. Well, Peninsula Streams Society uh, started in uh, 2002 as an amalgamation of uh, several groups uh, as an umbrella group to help support stream stewardship, watershed uh, conservation and stream restoration activities. With a paid staff of two and a stream of volunteers, the group are introducing the importance of watershed management and stewardship to the next generation. I recently joined some grade six students who attend Colquitt Middle School in Saanich, fully immersed in the Creatures of Habitat program. What a lovely day it is out today. It sure was a lovely day until this yellowish haze descended upon us. This interactive learning experience was indoor and outdoor fun. <laughs> Students were divided into groups and rotated around different thought-provoking activities. This energetic Jeopardy-style presentation unearthing some real-life conversation about conservation. Down the hall, a workshop about composting. We're talking about water and air and how it affects our life in our compost. Really? And how does it affect the, uh, your life and your compost? Well, in our, in our life cycle, we, I guess we, we need water and air to survive. Well, perhaps the best location for a life lesson on helping the habitat, across the road to Colquitt's Creek. Out and in the environment, doing something positive so that they can have a, uh, an effect, a, a good effect on their environment, and they'll take um, some ownership of, of their parks and their local places. Here, the kids were learning about invasive species. This whole area, we've been just trying to get the blackberries out and get most of the crowns out so they don't go back. Oh, that's a nice one. Let's have a look at Oh, show the camera that. Yeah, I just got this. If you think the blackberries are an invasive species, check out what the humans have left behind. Yeah. Before you did this exercise, you know, did you give any thought to some of the shrubs and bushes that are around here? Um, not really. Like the blackberries, I was like gonna kill them and then all the native species I'm gonna try and save, so yeah. Is there any other species around here that you're sort of having to clear out? Uh, the holly. And this is what Daphne looks like, but you have to use gloves to handle it. This area that we're working in is the riparian area, and it influences how the stream operates and um, has a lot of positive influences on the environment and on the stream and the processes in the stream. It provides the riparian area, provides shade, it provides insects, it provides bank stability, and all sorts of other services to the stream, as well as the stream giving it services by providing it water and form and shape. Uh, today is about uh, 180 students. This is our sixth year, so at the end of this year, we'll have, uh, we'll have been to almost 4,000 students over the last, uh, uh, since the program began. In Saanich, I'm James Green.